New tonight at Next at 10, the state of Wisconsin is looking at ways to come up with some money to fill a major void projected in the Wisconsin transportation budget. News 3's Valina Jones has more on what this means for road projects all across the state. Just as these holes need to be filled, a new report suggests that a billion dollar hole needs to be filled in the state's transportation budget. The Verona Road intersection has been difficult for years. Orange cones now line the intersection of Verona Road. It's construction, Sam Johnson says, needs to happen. But with close to a billion dollar shortfall over the next two years, road construction projects are in jeopardy. So more goes on to the property tax. And then uh, Interstate 39 and Verona Road interchange, those projects, those bigger projects, just keep it being pushed back further and further, which, which drives up the cost. So we're seeing an impact in all kinds of ways. According to the Legislative Fiscal Bureau, the state needs to fill a $939 million hole in transportation funds just to maintain what was approved last budget. That's without including debt services. If we're really trying to attract jobs and grow Wisconsin here, this is not a smart area to neglect. It's a gap in funding that could lead to a debate over cutting projects or raising the gas tax. Republican lawmaker John Nygren says everything should be on the table. I'm willing to have a discussion about possibly you know, offsets if we can find them, uh, but to think that there could be no, ch no changes uh, to the way we're currently funding revenue or funding our transportation system uh, from a revenue standpoint, I, I think is unrealistic. Nygren says a solution could come from those who use the roadways the most. My preference would be gas tax because that's something that people who are visiting our state pays, where registration would be simply on the people of the state of Wisconsin. All of these relatives of mine come through here and don't pay taxes. In the current budget, the legislature borrowed hundreds of millions to pay for essential projects. Others were delayed. Still, Governor Walker said borrowing is the lowest it's been in 20 years. He explained his position in several tweets today to say he's not in favor of raising taxes without offsetting cost in other areas. In Madison, Valina Jones, WISC News 3. The U.S. Department of Transportation data released last year actually ranked Wisconsin's roads among the worst in the nation.